All right, welcome to lesson three. This is where we're going to be focusing on setting up our Google Apps script that uh, can handle our, our post requests for submitting our form data. All right, so um, I'm here in my Google Drive. So I'll just go to my tutorials folder, but you can do this wherever you like. And I'm going to create a new Google Sheet. Let's give it a name. So I'm going to name mine um, Pottery Workshop Registrations. And in here, we can actually also define the uh, columns that we want, like the headings for the columns that we want. Um, so let's do that right now. So I think I'm going to start with the date uh, column. And then we're going to have the event name. Uh, then the person's so the, the person's name the phone number email and uh, number of spots they want so let's say num of spots okay and I'm just gonna make it look a little nicer so Okay, so basically when we submit our form data, it's going to be submitting um, underneath these headings here. Um, so that's looking good. Now, in order to set up our script, we have to go to extensions here at the top and then app script. Perfect. So as you can see, by default, uh, we just have this function defined called my function. This is just a placeholder, more or less. We can get rid of that. And we have to write our own code here. So I'm going to paste mine in, and then I'll walk you through it. And by the way, if you want to learn more about Google Apps Script, um, feel free to, you know, to search for it. Um, there is, for example, this is a page where you can read about it. Uh, developer.google.com forward slash app script um, but there are plenty of other resources on Google as well as on YouTube that you can consult but essentially it's it's basically JavaScript with some customized um, objects built in that are um, relevant to the different services that Google Workspace offers so in order to be able to accept a post request, we have to create a function called doPost. Um, and inside that function, we're doing a couple of things. Um, you will notice that I'm using the um, ES6 syntax for JavaScript uh, with const here. If you want to be using the same, you have to make sure, if you go into project settings, be sure that you have a Chrome V8 runtime checked, all right? because I believe if you have uh, if you don't have a V8 runtime, the uh, ES6 syntax is not supported. So just make sure you have that. Otherwise, um, you will have to keep using var, which is the older JavaScript syntax. So uh, first, we have a variable called sheet, and we're initializing that to the spreadsheet app, which is an object available with Google Apps Script. Um, dot get active sheet. So we're basically getting the currently active sheet, which is the sheet we just uh, we just set up. This is going to be our active sheet. Next, we're checking if um, a request body exists, so if a data is being sent in the body. Okay, so we're saying if e dot post data dot contents, and then we're parsing the JSON that's in there and saving it to the data variable. Okay, next, this is where we're uh, setting up a timestamp. So like I mentioned earlier, we could have done this also um, in, in our uh, inside the code for our server action, but I wanted to do it here just to show you, you know, that you can do it in here as well. So we're using the date object, which we're uh, basically customizing, right? So I want to show the month and the day and the year and the, the time in a specific format and we're saving that to this timestamp variable. Next, we're actually adding the data to our Google Sheet. Okay, so we're using the append row method available on the sheet object. 
which if you remember comes from here okay and we're um, adding so the timestamp so this here then the event name the full name of the of the um, a person who is registering the phone number email and then the number of spots um, this is just for logging so in case there's errors we can always uh, troubleshoot here so we don't we don't really need it but it's good to have and finally we are uh, returning some kind of message back to our server right so here we're turning a success message so if this um, if this worked properly then we're going to return uh, this message here so content service uh, dot create text output and we're just sending success now this uh, this is optional by default what's returned will be a text format but if you want to set it more explicitly we can include that okay and if uh, there is no data posted so if for some reason we don't send any data we're going to return this message no data received okay so this is basically our do post function now let's make sure it's saved so let's click actually let's give our project a name uh, before we forget that this is important uh, so I'm gonna call it pottery workshop and then uh, click rename good so that should be saved and the next thing we want to do is we want to actually deploy it so that um, we get an endpoint to which we can make our post request so to do that we want to go to deploy here and say new deployment click this gear button it's going to be a web app so let's click on this and here we can give it a description so let's just say uh, pottery workshop app execute us so here you will probably have your credentials and this field is called who has access so here we can say only myself or anybody within your organization so if you have an organization it's gonna have that option for you anyone with a Google account or anyone at all right so generally if you want this to be available on the internet and you want anyone to be able to submit your form we should select this option so anyone and let's say deploy okay and it's asking us to authorize access so we have to do that so let's click on this button make sure we're logged in so this is just asking us whether we give permission to to our app to pottery workshop to see edit create and delete our google sheet okay so we want to allow that so let's click allow and now we have the data we were looking for so first of all we have our deployment id which we don't really need but we do need this url okay this is going to be our endpoint to which we're going to uh, make our post request so make sure you save this i'm going to copy it you can click done here and back in our code let's go ahead and go to our actions and we're going to paste it right here and let's save perfect so now we uh, have this variable and we should be able to make our post request to the Google app script so that's what we're gonna do in the next video